guys and dolls and welcome back to Lily Georgia. Welcome if you're new, I'm very happy to have you. Today we're going to be doing a sparkly glitter makeup tutorial because it's been a while and I've got a new background so I thought this would perfectly complement this video I did. Without further ado, let's get straight on into this video. So first of all you want to make sure that all of your makeup sponges are actually like damp, sufficiently damp um, because otherwise you're gonna look cakey and you don't wanna look cakey. So I already applied my foundation and I always do this off camera because everybody has a different way of applying a foundation and I don't think that you need a, needed a tutorial for that. So, But either way, I used the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Warm Nude. That's the one I used. I'm going with concealer. All this is very awkward because of what's going on on YouTube. This is the Chef We Star concealer. Mm. See, um, but it is, this is in the shade C7. The man's a bad man, but the man makes great makeup. So I'm very conflicted on what to do about that. Now I'm going to be taking the Morphe sponge and I'm going to be applying it all over. Now I usually would use a large sponge to blend in my concealer, but I've actually been using a smaller one and I found that because it's smaller it's more precise so it's going to blend out the face better um so yeah I would suggest using a smaller sponge now the face sponge that I'm going to use today I actually got from Amazon and it's really good quality so I'm not going to waste my money anymore on Morphe sponges anymore because Morphe's great but I feel like you can only get a few uses out of those those sponges before they start to go all like weird and soggy so um I'll link the sponges down below from Amazon because they're actually really good quality and it's the first sponge that I've actually been wowed by. This one is from Amazon and it's really good, so. Okay, now that all of that is blended into the face, we're gonna go in with face powder. This is the Jeffree Star. We're gonna be using like multiple Jeffree Star products today, by the way. So that's awkward. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna be putting it all over the face with just a big fluffy blending brush. Blending brush, that's great English, Lily Georgia. Uh, a big fluffy blending brush. There we go. Okay, it's, uh, it's great in it. Okay. Whew. Okay, so we're just gonna be applying this to the face all over instead of like a dragging motion, I like to pat it onto the face very lightly. Just pat it onto the face. Damn, this background works so well with this tutorial. I knew that I would do more makeup tutorials after I get this, it looks really good. So now that is done, I'm gonna go into contour. Jo Beverly Hills contour kit. I've had this for a very long time and like, it's starting to hit pan now. But um, yeah, I've had this for a while, but I really like it. So I mix the two, the two darkest shades right here. I like to mix them and put them on the face. Now the trick to this is I like to go in a, a number three motion. Right here, you go one, two, all the way down to three. One, two, three, and then you just kind of dust it out with your brush. And if you ever like forget where to put it, you always kind of like lightly, and then you can go in deeper when you get there. That's what she said. That's very inappropriate. Muy inappropriate. I make, I take no regrets from having humor on my channel. And when you come back at the end of the tutorial, I always go a little bit more overboard with the contour so if you don't get like the, the amount of contour that you want right now that's fine because we're going to come back and do it at the end um, so you're good. Right. And that three motion all the way down onto the nose. I'm not going to go too heavy with the nose contour because there's been some videos that I did where I went so heavy on the nose contour and the blending was awful and I was just like, what were you thinking? We'll come and perfect that later on. 
that's what we have so far. And now what we will do is go into blush. I'm taking the Morphe Y5 brush and just the California blush by Benefit. Literally my routine hasn't even changed. We're just putting glitter on today. So just going to put that right onto the cheeks. I started listening to Cardi B yesterday and I was like, damn, okay, I've been missing out. I know, literally, but I started listening to her yesterday and I actually love her lyrics. I really like her, her songs. Same translucent setting powder by Jeffree Star. And I'm just gonna use a damp beauty sponge by Morphe. Now what I like about this sponge is that it has the angle at the side, which you can use right here. Uh, I'm sure that you've seen a lot of beauty gurus doing that thing where they have that. If you have an angled sponge, it doesn't have to be for Morphe. You can literally like dip in and then just coat that part of the face. It's gonna get a little bit messy, but that's fine. It's makeup, it's meant to be. And then use the other side to do the other parts of the face. And then the trick with this is that if you have any blemishes that you want to go away, you take a wetter section of the sponge and the powder and you dip it into those blemishes and then they fade faster on the makeup and you can just cover it up with concealer. That's a trick that I learned two months ago. But I literally was like, I was trying to get rid of this blemish and I was trying everything for it. And then I literally just by accident dipped the sponge wet and then it took it away and I was like, oh. Okay, life hacks. Eyebrows. This is the Browsings by Benefit in the shade 4. Which is like the medium dark shade. Because I used to have brown hair, so that's why my hair are quite dark. But I quite like my eyebrows to be very bold. So that's why I like it to be dark too. I'm going to go in with some concealer um, to actually shape the brows so that I don't go overboard. This is a brush I was given um, from makeup school in London, but it's just like a curved eye brush. And I like to use that on my eyebrows. And that's like a base for the eyes too. I like to blend that all the way down to be a base. Browsings again, I'm gonna be taking a Morphe E29 brush, it's just a simple eye brush, and then I'm just gonna put it on the eyebrows and sculpt them like so. Just lightly, don't want it to go into our eye. And you want to be gentle with this stage. This section is going to be brighter because you put the powder here, but this is also the guideline for the contour too. You can put it right there when in the end you can make it a little bit uh, darker. But I really like the way this is turning out so far. Next up, we are going to start off with our eyes. Now, I'm going to be using two different palettes, three different palettes today. I'm gonna to start off as my base as always with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I'm gonna go in and dive into my 24A Artist Pass palette. I'm gonna be using a pink shade. And then I'm gonna be going in with this glitter palette, which I swear by, and I've used it ever since I was in London. It is the ZS Cosmetics. Now, if you go onto this website, you can actually create your own custom palette and put any glitter color you want. Um, these are really easy to work with. I really like them. And yeah, we're just gonna be using the pink, a pink shade in this today. It's real, real nice colors. So I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and a Morphe M441 brush. I really like this brush. I'm just taking the two Palish shades at the top. I'm just gonna dust that over my eyes because this is gonna be like our, uh, our first shade, like our transition shade basically. 
It's just our base shade, actually. Just setting the canvas for right now. I'm gonna go straight in with this pink because we're just gonna layer it with the glitter cloth like pretty fast on there. So I'm gonna go in the shade Max Volume. It's this pink shade right here. Right here, I'm gonna go in with Max Volume and I'm just gonna be applying this onto the eye. I'm just gonna go straight in. Why wait? I want to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I actually mean it too, like I really do encourage everyone to get this. It's a really, really good palette. Okay, so EM433 brush. And I'm just gonna take that color and I just wanna put it on the outer corner a little bit and blend it in. Just make it a little bit more like blendable right now because it is blendy. Like I blended it well, but I just wanna make it a little bit more poppy. Okay. That's so far on that side. Let's go in onto this side. There's going to be a lot of fallout, so that's why we're going to do concealer after to clean it all up. But I'm just going in with this baby pink colour right here. Just going in with that baby pink colour and I think I'm going to use my finger for this. Just because I recommend with any like glitter work, it's probably better with your finger to just apply it on as it need be. Already starting to come together. I love it so much. Yes, already. Now I will warn you. This is actually an English website that you can get this one, but it still can ship here. So I did actually get all these shades from that website. taking a um, a brush and I'm just gonna be brushing out all the fallout from here and then cleaning it all up underneath. Okay, so now we're gonna be putting the concealer on the eye. We're gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer and put it onto the eye. And then the same with the same sponge again. easy to blend guys it's very creamy I'm just gonna blend this into the areas that we just put powder on ever so lightly beautiful and perfect This could be a great Valentine's Day look, so might be introducing something similar to this for Valentine's Day this year. I mean this year? That already happened next year. <laughs> it's pretty, I really, I really like this. It's very um dramatic, but like well needed. I really, really like the way that this looks. Now we're going to be applying lashes. Using the Lily Lashes in the Style Making Us. All right guys, so the lashes are now on and I'm just gonna coat the lashes in some mascara real quick. I'm gonna be getting rid of this because it keeps coming out of the sides and I need to get some, um, the black blue so the tag doesn't show. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that. 
But I'm just gonna be putting the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced on the lashes right now. I'm just gonna be applying that to them. And then real quick, I'm just gonna dust off any excess right here. And I'm just gonna go in and put some mascara on the lower lash line, just a little bit. I don't wanna put too much on. The James Charles palette, awkward, but I will say he does have a really decent highlight in this palette that I like to use from time to time. So I'm going in with this shade. I don't know what the name then the name of the shade is because I threw away the shade names a long time ago. But it's a pretty good highlight, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm using that. I'm just gonna go onto the apples of the cheeks. And apply it where it needs to be. Normally where I normally apply it, guys. This highlight, it's a good, it's a good quality highlight, but I like to add a little bit more, so I'm gonna just go in with a different highlight now. Um it's gonna still have the same effect, but just a little bit more like pizzazz, you know? Because I like a very strong highlight. I'm with the Fenty Beauty highlight, and can't remember the shade of this, but you can find it on Sephora. This is the one by um, Rihanna. It's a really good highlight. And I also like to use it on my shoulder sometimes. And um, just anywhere that I need a little bit more pizzazz. I like the word pizzazz. Good word. Pizzazz. I don't need to say it a while. So I'm just uh, highlighting everything that I need. And then we're going to go back in with that contour again. Like I said earlier in this video, I'm going back in the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and taking that Morphe Y11. I love the gold brushes from Morphe. I think it just makes it a little bit classy. It's a little bit more of a touch of class to my makeup vanity. This is more like editorial, this look right now. It's not like a um, natural look. It's very editorial. Love that. The Amorphe M1, that same shade in the James Charles palette. And I'm just going to put it onto my eyebrow and highlight with my eyebrow. How funny, I'm using like two makeup rivals products right now on my face. That's kind of funny to me. That's actually hilarious as well. <laughs> That's so funny. Two rivals. Who wins? I don't know, guys. Who do you stand? Put, your, put in the comments down below who you stand. I'd love to know. I'm curious. Okay. It's a really nice eyebrow highlight. I'm not gonna lie. Hi, how are ya? And then I'm just gonna. What am I gonna do now? Lippies! Let's go into lips. I wanted quite a neutral lip, so I'm gonna be going into the shade Well by MAC and just applying that to the lips. Remember this was the shade when I was back in acting school in um, London. Everyone would wear this to school and they loved it so much. And there's a reason why, because it's amazing. So I love Velvet Teddy and I will continue to always constantly wear this shade. 
So this is MAC Velvet Teddy. It's a really nice shade. It looks a bit more pinky on camera, but it's actually like a neutral brown. So I'm going to be using that today. Make sure there's no imperfections. For this guy, this is the Jeffree Star Iridescent Throne Lip Gloss. Do you think that Jeffree Star was always releasing collections to do with Queen, Throne, and all that because he knew it was going to get cancelled one day? Just a quick theory. Just a quick question to ask you guys. Please answer that in the comments down below what you think. Last things to do is powder and setting spray. So we're gonna be going in with the Morphe Y2 brush and the Jeffree Star Cosmetics powder. Just lightly dusting it everywhere. We don't wanna to put too much powder because we don't wanna cake the face. I want to put just enough to provide coverage everywhere. Okay, and now we're going to do the setting spray. We're going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray in the Luna packaging. And I would recommend this setting spray 100%. It really does lock into place. And before I was using the Morphe setting spray, um, what was it? It was the Morphe Peach setting spray, and it just made my makeup break up by the end of the day, so it wasn't as good. Um, but this really locks everything in place. We're going to use this and then we'll be done. Whew. We're just going to fan it all into the skin, guys. She feels really nice. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and looking at sparkly things and I hope that I captured this background well. And I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye my loves.